I am so happy that you are here. Oh, well, I'm really excited to be here. I knew I had to get you along on this journey. I'm specifically looking for the Mega Powers robe. I watched during that time, and the Mega Powers was like imprinted in my brain as probably like the biggest thing happening in the mid 80s. This indeed is the Mega Powers. The Mega Powers were the two biggest single stars of their era, and when they joined forces, Mega Powers. He's got a lot of nerve, but the Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Randy Savage, the lovely Elizabeth, three people working as one. <laughs> oh, yeah, right now, tonight, on prime time, yeah. yeah. Beth, you've already got your wrestlers pumped up for this one. <laughs> well, thank you, Mean Gene. Randy and Hulk together. First of all, you've got two dynamic egos, like, upper stratosphere. I am the Lord and Master of the Ring. There were no bigger stars in the 1980s. They were levels above everybody else. As incredible as the Mega Powers were, they only had those three matches. But they pretty much made SummerSlam. The very first SummerSlam is really the first time that we saw Macho Man and Hulk Hogan together as a team in action. And it delivered. This is what they've been waiting for. Yes, he nailed it. Everybody was just in such awe at how their chemistry as a team, how they played off each other, and really how they could bring the industry to the next level. Look at this. Everybody's on their feet, Gorilla. This is the place, Molly. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> Hall of Famer day here. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you. There's Mick Foley and Molly Holly standing on my front steps, and my first reaction was, holy <laughs> you're in my house. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We have been sent here because we understand that you are a huge Macho Man fan. That is correct, yes. And we are specifically looking for something from the Mega Powers period. And I have that. Elizabeth, macho man, victory awaits us. You and me, yeah. When I was about 16 years old, my father was very much involved in charities. They had a silent auction, and he placed a bid on the robe and wound up obtaining the robe. And when he brought that home, it was magic. Since then, it's it's been in my possession. That's incredible. Yeah. We're going to try to talk you out of keeping uh, it in your gonna possession. It's going to be tough. Okay. I understand, <laughs> but we would love to take a look at it. And I would love for you to see it. I was a very big wrestling fan. It started at a young age, and Macho Man was one of my favorites. And uh, <laughs> I mean, everybody loved Hulk Hogan. How could you not? At the time when they had first met up with one another, I believe Randy Savage was the Intercontinental Champion, and Hulk Hogan was the World Wrestling Champion. So you're talking about two major figures coming together and creating something that was just more powerful than, than a locomotive, so to speak. Oh, it's right here. Wow. Look at how brilliant that is. <laughs> With the sunlight gleaming off the, <sighs> the stones. Wow. It's heavier than the trunk, believe it or not. Wow. Incredible. When that trunk opened up and I saw that robe revealed, it was even more spectacular in person than on TV. The sparkles, the weight of it, the detail around the edges, I, I thought it was unbelievable. And I believe it would look best on Molly Holly as oh, we... Oh, I would love to wear that. Let me help you. Knowing how much macho meant to your career. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful robe that is. From the cost $10,000 at least. Looks pretty authentic to me. And the kicker on the inside, it's signed by Macho himself. What? Yes. Oh, show me where. Let me help you out here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Not to mention the, the rarity. You know, they, Hulk Hogan and Macho Man were the biggest right. stars at yeah. that time. And they only wrestled three times. And this, as far as I know, was only worn twice. Twice, in two of the biggest matches of that era. two of the biggest era, matches right? of that era. And who's gonna crank this thing up first? Kevin, this is something you would consider parting with for the right price. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you have a price in mind? There's more value to it than just money. It's very sentimental to me. My father gave this to me 
almost 30 years ago, and it's one of the last remaining items that I have of his yeah. that he had given to me. What's wrong with you, man? What do you mean with that? Why did you leave me out there? What is wrong with you? Back in 1988, when the Mega Powers dissolved, the cape went up for auction. And during that silent auction, his robe was up for bid. My father won the bid, and subsequently after that, I won the robe. It was one of the best gifts I had ever received in my entire life. It was really at the pinnacle of my uh, watching wrestling and getting into the sport. So um, it was a dream come true. I was hoping maybe you could start the offer. How would you feel about $5,000? No way. Too low? Out of the question. Out of the question. I appreciate the offer. 8,500. Nope. How does $10,000 sound to you? Plus tickets for my wife and my kids and myself for ringside seats at WrestleMania in April. Um, whew. WrestleMania tickets, they're difficult to come by. Ring aside, they go for about $2,500 a piece. So this is adding another $10,000 onto the $10,000. All right. You are going to WrestleMania. That is awesome. <laughs> Look at those smiles. That oh God, is that's so cool. Awesome. I think my father would be absolutely proud for the way I handled myself and the way uh, the offer went down with the robe. Oh, oh this is that, that phenomenal. Is... My father was a family man. He really, really would have loved to see me and my children enjoy something as precious as WrestleMania. This is the best case scenario so where cool. you know it's going to have a great home. You make a few dollars. Yeah. And you have an experience of a lifetime. We appreciate All it. All right. Thank you so much for your willingness. The memories we made for everyone. I remember this like yesterday. How many asses I kicked with these boots. Roddy Piper's leather jacket. We need this. <laughs>